You can also buy here, you know, bread and gasoline. Gasoline, Coca-Cola brand, you know, gasoline. Common question here in the channel. Maya, are you the tallest woman in Colombia? Uno, dos, two and a half. Two and a half breads, that's my height. Finally, Maya is in Nazareth. I don't know how many times you have been hearing Maya saying I'm going to Nazareth. So be happy with me because I finally made it to Nazareth. Buena, como están? Look at these guys. Look at this. Look at, look at how they, buena. Look at how they move. I don't know how they don't get stuck with all this sand here. Amigo, pase, pase, no pasa nada. Vele, amigo. ¿Qué tal, amigo? ¿Cómo está? Estamos bien, gracias a Dios. Me alegra mucho. Sí, vamos, muy bien. Bienvenida. <laughs> gracias. Everybody here is so nice. He said, welcome to my town. <laughs> I want to cry. You want to know something? This place has internet one year ago, so basically they don't know who is Afro Guajira. I may be famous in other places, but not in Nazareth, definitely. All the town is going to be like this. All the town. Why? Because, guys, we are in the desert. Amigo, ¿cómo está? Muy bien, gracias. Guys, this place has no electricity, only a few hours per day, but they have, they manage to offer Wi-Fi the whole day here in the middle of the desert. I, guys, you may be saying that this is not the desert, but this is the desert. We are in the middle of the desert. I mean, 12 hours away from my hometown. We are in the middle of the desert. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but I'm saying that the, you are going to find Wi-Fi in the middle of the desert. You don't believe me? Come check. Miguel is the one he's going to provide Maya, Afro Guajira, with internet. Because I want to show you something important. I have to pay 2,000 Colombian pesos, 2,000 pesos. That's half a dollar, 50 cents, you know, to get one hour of internet. So basically, guys, this is a pretty technological idea, you know. He just asked for my cell phone and then he put the password in my cell phone. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Vamos. <laughs> no. El Granafi. This is the name of the store, El Gran Afi, and that's why that's the name of the of the network, you know? Yeah. Okay, wait, I'm checking if I have internet. Um, okay, okay. Yes. It's working, guys! It's working! 50 cents for one hour of internet. He just got my phone, he put the, the password, and that's it. And whenever I left, he's going to he's going to change the password. And the internet is gonna work just here. So if I have to stay here, you know, you may be wondering, but Maya, the town doesn't have electricity, so they don't have Wi-Fi. So how does Afi manage to have internet? Easy. He has, I think that the name is, I don't know, solar electricity. Look at these guys. Por allá. Okay, so in the roof, they have solar. I don't know how to say paneles solares. No, pero eso no se ve. We can see it. But we have to believe them because they are the only ones with internet and electricity here in the town. So we cannot see the panels, but all the equipment is here. Ustedes se van a volver famosos. Here is the equipment of the solar solar panels. Oh, so they have solar electricity. You have to tell me how can I say that. Look at these guys. They have light in the middle of the desert. I can't believe it. El Gran Afi. Usted es el Gran Afi, amigo. No, no está aquí el Gran Afi. Okay, now that I have internet, guys, let me check something very important. Look at this YouTuber. Who is her? Who is that woman? Oh, look at this. Who is that woman riding a horse? Who the hell is her? I don't know who the hell is her, but she looks nice. Yes, 107,000 subscribers. Finally, the subscribers are going up. So I'm very grateful, guys, because that means that the channel is growing because I was a stack, you know, last year, but definitely it's growing. Two months ago, El Gran Afi opened this business. So two months ago, this place had internet, you know. Well, actually, the internet got here one year ago. Just one year ago, guys. All the town is like this. And this is the main street. Remember that we are in the middle of the desert. But this is like an oasis in the middle of the desert. <laughs> <laughs> it feels so weird. These towns made my town look like I'm living in Japan or something like that, United States, because, you know, very, I don't know how to say it. 
Me, me, me feel that like they are living, they are frozen in the time, you know, they are frozen in the time. So of course, living here in Nazareth is a little bit easier than living in the middle of the desert because here they can grow things, you know, they have access to water because in the other part that I show you, no water, no nothing, you know. Maya, are you going to hold that bread? In the whole video, yes. Maybe I'm not gonna eat it because it made me feel so happy, you know? You're supposed to bring things when you are coming here. But instead of that, somebody gave me something I received and that made me very happy. If one day you decide to come to Nazareth, you have to know you are only going to have electricity like from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. and that's it. The main dish that you're gonna get here are goats. So you're gonna see goats everywhere, alive and then dead goat. Look at these guys, goat everywhere. But actually here they also have cows, not like in, like in the middle of the desert, but still goats are the most common dish here. And this is the place guys that I really want to show you. If you want to know everything about this place, I'll show you in another video. For me, this place is a mystery. You saw how is the town, the condition of the town. And look at this building. Why the hell a structure like this is located in a place like this? If you want to know, that's going to be another video for sure because I cannot give you everything in one video. Look at that. That's the way in which the Guayu women dress. Only mantas Guayu because of course the weather. So you maybe, if you look, Actually here is very fresh compared with the weather, you know, in the middle of the desert, very, very, very hot. But in here it feels pretty nice. I like it. And you can buy mantas here. Okay, let me ask for a manta. Hola, las mantas que valen. 40. So they have mantas like uh, to stay at home and also mantas like to go to a party or to attend to uh, to, I don't know, special occasions, you know. And this is basically used clothes, you know. Many things to show you in this town. And, adios. <laughs> Buenas, they are building here. For me, this place is very special. Look at that, guys. Everywhere that I go, every place that I go, they are going to laugh. I don't know what the hell they are saying, but they are always laughing. I'm telling you guys, I'm going to learn the language. I'm going to learn why you Nike because I want to know what they are saying. This town to me was a mystery. I wanted to come here a long time ago, but of course, guys, it's not easy to get here. To get here, okay, you get to Colombia, then Riwacha, then Uribia, then you cross the desert, then you get here. 12 hours from my town. And from your country, that is gonna be very crazy. But if you wanna come, I think that it's a very interesting place. Okay, bueno. And everybody is really nice here. To finish this video, I'm going to introduce you the guy, the man that gave me this bread. Because basically, this is a way to promote his bakery. And you promised me that if you, if one day you come here to Nazareth, you have to buy bread from here. And the smell, oh my God. The store smells really good. So I want to show you him. You can also buy here, you know, bread and gasoline. Gasoline, Coca-Cola brand, you know, gasoline and bread. Señor José, vea que no me quedó en el video usted. Tiene que salir en el video el señor que me regaló el pan. This is el señor José. The one that gave me this amazing bread. Muchas gracias, señor José. Muy amable. Look at all this bread. And he, and he baked all of this. So you <laughs> promise, <laughs> you promise me that if one day you come here, you have to come here and buy bread from him. If you come here, you have to tell him that Afro Guajira sent you. We are working in a discount code, of course, because if you are coming from that far, you deserve a discount. But don't worry that I'll figure it out. Gracias, Señor Jose. Please, guys, be happy with me because I made it to Nazareth. I'm very happy about it. From this office, from this office, the place is not here in this office. From this office, you can, you can book a guy and that guy is going to take you to 
la Macuira. Believe me, that place is out of this world, you know. Those were the reasons because I wanted to go to Nazareth, the intern, and La Macuira. And of course, all these amazing people. Stay tuned for the next videos coming from Nazareth. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm here in the sand town of Colombia, the sand town of La Guajira, Colombia. I don't know, should I eat this bread? I think that I'm gonna eat it. Adios. Forgot to tell you, if you're wondering, who the hell is all these people, all these people appearing at the end of my videos? All of these amazing people are my Patreons and they are the ones who allow me to travel. So if you want to become a Patreon and support this Maya's journey, I'll, I'll leave the link right here. Thank you so much. Gracias.